one thing is uh, unique here at Moore is we have a like a team approach uh, in treating our patients. Uh, we cover all the subspecialties, all the subspecialties in ophthalmology, and uh, we're going to discuss to you today some of the complications of cataract surgery. One of the things that can occur uh, with, with cataract is infection. And if infection occurs, that can lead to decreased vision, vision loss, loss of your eye. But with today's technologies, uh, the risk of infection from cataract surgery is very, very low, oftentimes less than one out of a thousand. Um, fortunately, even if infection does occur, most of the time it's a mild infection and uh, your doctor will advise that if you have any redness or pain within the first few days of surgery to call us right away. We're all available 24 hours a day for you. And so if you do have an infection, we can catch it early and treat it topically. Um, if you're one of the very few patients that develops a serious infection after cataract surgery, we're fortunate enough to work with a team of doctors who takes a comprehensive approach. So uh, there is always somebody here who can treat the very serious infection in the very, very rare um, case that it should occur. Additionally, some of the things that also occurs with cataract surgery is there's inflammation. Inflammation in the eye can lead to redness, and also can also cause some irregularities and abnormalities on the cornea, sometimes even corneal swelling. We oftentimes use medications to treat these, uh, this, these complications. And what's unique about here at Moore is I also have a colleague, Dr. Vo here, who's also a corneal specialist, mm -hmm. who can virtually handle any complication with precision and excellence and competence that our, our patients deserve. Mm -hmm. So before your cataract surgery, your ophthalmologist will determine whether or not you're at risk for prolonged corneal swelling or swelling of the front window of the eye. Um, if you are uh, at risk for that, you'll be informed and we will take precautions during and after the surgery with drops, um, and with our technique to make sure that either that doesn't occur or if it does occur that we can treat it early. I'm a cornea specialist so I do specialize in the front window of the eye. If you have corneal swelling that does not resolve over time, there are many, many different treatment modalities that we can do to treat that swelling. Um, and um, if it's still not resolved with drops or topical medications, we can discuss uh, further surgeries that can be done to clear up the front window of the eye. In addition to that, sometimes the pressure, interocular pressure inside the eye increases following surgery. If this should occur, this is commonly controlled with, with the glaucoma eye drop medicines. However, if, that, if any further additional treatment is necessary uh, to keep the interocular pressure under control, we always have other treatment modalities in the form of surgery that uh, can handle any type of persistent elevation in intraocular pressure. What's also unique here with more, we have several glaucoma, uh, several glaucoma specialists available to handle any problems with intraocular pressure. Moving further back, the cataract itself sits in a very thin bag. The top of the bag is removed so that the cataract can be removed and a lens can be placed inside the eye. One of the rare complications can occur when the back of the bag, there's a tear in the back of the bag, and parts of the lens may fall behind. In that case, a retina specialist, a retina surgeon, can go in and remove the parts uh, from the back of the eye. Here at Moore, we have many experienced and wonderful retina doctors, colleagues of ours, who are ready and willing to go back and retrieve those parts of the eye. And then we can re begin the process of visual habilitation for you to get your best possible vision after cataract surgery, despite the very rare complications if they do occur. And finally, one of the other things that can occur in the back of the eye is blood that can fill the interior of the eye as well as retinal tears, retinal detachments, and swelling of the retina, and other tissues further deeper behind the retina. It's fortunate that we have here at Moore several retinal subspecialists with experience that can address these problems instantaneously.